Google has sold Google domains to Squarespace. What does that mean for your cold email campaigns? Stick around and let's talk about it. But before, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. I'm Alex Berman, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and let's get to it. For the past five or six years, we have been using Google Workspace for cold emails pretty consistently. There was a break a few months ago when we started using Zoho to send. And if you've watched the video that we did about Zoho banning cold email, you'll know that turned out to be an ineffective solution. Zoho for a while gave you the ability to send a ton of cold emails in bulk for cheap, and then they banned cold email on their platform, refunded a bunch of people, didn't refund a bunch of other people, and left us all in shambles. Personally, I have 150 email inboxes disconnected from my sending tool right now that were on Zoho that are just gone. So we switched back to Google Workspace, and it seemed like all was good, and all is still good. In theory, Google right now has not taken any drastic actions against cold email. Of course, they always have their AI spam detection, which is getting better and better. They are doing some stuff when it comes to making it harder to register multiple Gmail accounts, making it harder to register multiple Google Workspace accounts, and increasing the price for Google Workspace. But in general, it's been pretty easy until I saw this news. Google is selling all their domains to Squarespace. In theory, that shouldn't matter. I'm gonna move my pool thingy. In theory, that shouldn't matter. Move my little thing that's making noise. Oh, get out of here, pool guy. Swim, swim for me. In theory, that shouldn't matter. It's just now, instead of using Google domains, we use Squarespace, we're happy. They're still billing the same way. So it should just be straightforward, but what? does this mean? And how can we send safer cold emails, keeping whatever Google's doing in mind? There's a war going on with cold emails. It used to be you could send personalized emails at scale and all would be good. Then bulk tools came along in the last year and a half to two years. Tools like Instantly, Omni does it as well, Smart Lead, that allow you to send tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of emails per day using inbox rotation, and other tricks to get mass sending to be available to your average person. Now, your average person turns out, when given the chance to spam, spams the crap out of everybody. This has been a major problem for all the email providers, Zoho, Google, Outlook. And so most people are switching now to custom SMTPs and doing these solutions that are harder to track. Personally, I just spun up another 10 inboxes using lead hype and for these latest 10 we're not even using google workspace and we're certainly not using zoho zoho's long banned not going to be using that at all ever we're using outlook and godaddy which is something that just six months ago i would have told you was crazy i would have said google is the safest one forever why would we trust microsoft with our cold emails but microsoft's the wild west even if you think about search engines Google is the censored one that hides all the information. Bing is the secondary project where anything goes. And it's the same with these cold email campaigns. Google cares about Gmail, especially now that a lot of their search traffic is down and they're having to focus on their secondary businesses. From a cash flow point of view, it does not make sense to remove Google domains. It's a nice business. You pay once for a domain and then you keep paying every single year. It's good, stable income. So this sale means one of two things. Either Google really needs the money, which they might. They're under competition from ChatGPT and their traffic is down on search as people are moving towards AI chat-based tools. And or number two, which is Google hates cold email. They always have. And they're finally doing what needs to be done in order to remove it. By getting rid of Google domains, there is no conflict of interest now between cold email senders and Google. If cold email senders aren't Google customers, they can delete them in a second and have no adverse effects on the Google business. And that's what I'm worried about as a cold email sender and why I'm not gonna use Google domains, Squarespace domains, or Google Workspace for cold email sending into 2023 and into 2024, unless things change. It didn't used to be like this. Everything that I knew about cold email was stable for five years. Send with the three C's, compliment, case study, call to action, send a couple emails a day. When I first started my agency, X27, we only had to send 40 cold emails a week, and we were able to book $600,000 in annual recurring revenue in a couple months. The game has shifted, and if you're not paying attention, you're going to fall behind. It's hard to even keep the courses updated. 
email 10k cold email university all of that the most up-to-date information is going to be in the coaching which is why i highly recommend you join email 10k.com and you don't even have to watch the courses just get on these weekly calls where it's me and everybody else that's super into cold email on a call talking about emails and talking about how to circumvent these rules and how to still make money with cold email when we're under attack. It's like what happened to SEO. For a while, search engine optimization was fine. You just write a crappy blog post, you put it up at the top of Google and you're good to go. But then Google went to war with SEO and now SEO is harder than ever and it changes every few months. The same has happened with cold email. And I fear most of what we know in terms of the technical aspect of cold email will be obsolete within two to three months. The principles still stand. Complement case study call to action, short cold emails, sending personalized relevant emails to people that will buy from you and not mass blasting. All of that still stands. But when you have thousands of people that are blasting out millions of emails, sending billions of warm-up emails to try to trick Google, and being okay with sending 10,000 emails to book one meeting, then this is the only solution. There had to be a crackdown. And this is it. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree, disagree? Let's get a conversation going. Smash that like button for more videos like this and I'll talk to you soon. Your comments actually matter on this video. If you want me to keep making videos like this, I will, but I need your comments. We need to get more views and more feedback on this type of content. Otherwise, it's not gonna be worth my time to do. All right, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.